from Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The University of South Africa has launched Africa's first next-generation DNA sequencing platform, the PacBioRevio, which was developed in collaboration with Incaba Biotech. The acquisition and installation of the state-of-the-art platform, co-funded by both parties, will be housed at Incaba Biotech's facilities in Pretoria. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. The collaborative project between UNISA and Ngaba Biotech aims to offer next-generation sequencing services to the wider scientific community using both the PacBio Revio and the independently acquired PacBio Anso systems. This initiative is expected to significantly boost the capacity for high-quality long-range sequencing data, enabling comprehensive analyses crucial for studies in genomics and epigenetics. This project requires a sequencing of many species across the African continent. As you know, we are very, very diverse. Uh, there are many, many species that are kind of endangered, or some may be culturally important, important by diversity conservation. So we need to sequence those and, and, and kind of preserve the information around those species. And that is the idea of the African Biogenome Project, which is housed at, uh, at UNITA. And then because we've been, as a company, doing whole genome sequencing for many, many years, so we are very much placed to be the one to carry out this project, especially with, with the aim of African Biogenome Project to do this sequencing in Africa and contain the data within African continent. So we came um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an ideal partnership to partner with Africa VP and UNISA so that their samples can come here and then we do sequencing for them. Well, um, we were doing sequencing on the prior uh, kind of platform before the review, uh, which is like a medium throughput where you can run one sample at a time. Uh, and that was time consuming, costs really, really exorbitant costs to run. And actually that's where the, the idea of the, of the review came in. UNISA and Ngaba Biotech explained that the strategic partnership underscores the commitment of both parties to advancing scientific research and providing cost-effective access to cutting-edge sequencing technologies and represents a significant milestone in enhancing Africa's genomic research capabilities. The platform aims to provide enhanced research capabilities whereby the long read sequencing technology will provide insights into complex biological processes, including gene regulation, development, and disease progression. Moreover, the new sequencing services will be available to researchers and scientists across Africa, fostering a collaborative environment for genomic studies and innovation. The review platform kind of allows us to actually sequence four to eight genomes all at the same time in 24 hours. So you can actually have it running like that, can load, um, because the sequencing happens simultaneously across different chips in, in, in the machine. Uh, and that is, that is the big advantage because one, you can run many samples um, at once. Two, you get the highest quality of data. Three, the cost is really greatly reduced because you can run more samples at the same time. And of course, the most important thing is the turnaround time. Uh, you need to have as, uh, uh, as little turnaround time as possible to be able to uh, sequence more and more and more samples. So that is that is one of the big features of the review for for us to able us to run to load more samples, get the data in the shortest time as possible, and of course be cost effective. UNISA and Ngaba Biotech note that Africa BP continues its pioneering work in generating genome sequences of indigenous, endangered, and endemic species from Africa. These efforts are aimed at addressing key questions about species adaptation and informing conservation strategies to manage populations at risk of extinction. They explain that the project is dedicated to providing technical support, standardized procedures and scientific directions to conserve the continent's precious genetic resources effectively. That has been our aim to bring it uh, uh, into the African researchers, into the African market, the latest technologies that are there and, and right now Pack by review is that technology, and that's why we decided to actually we need to get uh, because you need to respond to the demands of the research and the prices and all those things. But more importantly, what the, what technology can give you in the in the in the research fields. So we're hoping that um, as more and more people access the data generated from this machine, they will see for themselves, and potentially even ourselves, we might not have to get another one and another one and another one. But the idea is. Once people get to get to handle the, to handle the data in their hands, um, they will realize that actually this is this is the technology that you need to do because you only sequence once and can use the data over and over again because it gives you a comprehensive view of the genomic landscape. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.